All right, I need your honest opinion and I wanna get as many comments and as much feedback as possible because the growth of my YouTube channel, the state, the current state of where things at are absolutely awful. In my opinion, I'm just being honest with you. I've been on YouTube for probably about 14 years now and I was one of the first people in the industry to start creating a channel, a brand about hair, posting hair videos and stuff like that, uh, who, who is an actual professional, all right? And you know, over a million subscribers, over I think over 2,500 videos now on YouTube. And I'm so appreciative of all of you, right? And, and let me know in the comments below, how long have you been a subscriber for? Um, doesn't matter if it's two days or 10 years. I'd love to know the OGs who are here still watching, but here's my dilemma is, you know, I'm posting five days a week and the haircut I did in like two videos ago, it was like a, a, a makeover I did on a mannequin. Actually, this is it right here. I put so much heart and soul into this haircut. This is literally like, so I'm pretty much retired from clients, but if I were to start seeing clients again, $300 a pop. And I'm telling you like, I put so much into this haircut and it came out so amazing and I loved it. And the video was a flop. I didn't even think it broke a thousand views. It's ridiculous. You know, um, haircuts, you know, like this, I put a lot of time and energy into creating these haircuts. So I'm a real professional, right? And I'd love to know your opinion on what types of videos do you want to watch? Why aren't you watching my videos? Or, or if you are, I appreciate it. But here's the other thing is let's go on to this nice little app called, guess what? What's this called? TikTok. All right, TikTok. So I have 364,000 subscribers. Uh, you know, my TikTok account is pretty cool. Now I do have some viral videos and one of them went viral again. It's been quite some time which it went viral. It started out with 10,000 views and now that was like, and then a day later it was at like 6 million. And within four days or five days of posting it, you can see right here, it's at 23 million. You can look right in the middle there, 23 million, right here. 23 million plays or views, like, like to call it. And then look at these other ones, 35,000, 400,000. And if you go back to the very, very top here, you know, 22 million, 13 million, 20 million, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. And literally they're like, set eight seconds, 19 seconds, hair tip videos. Why on earth are, why am I getting 23 million views on a video on TikTok, but like a thousand on YouTube? Makes no sense whatsoever. Now I'm posting a lot of shorts. My shorts are doing okay. Like, you know, 4,000, 5,000, it's, it's, it is what it is, but like, it's really just baffling to me. And I really do cherish you who watch my YouTube videos because to me, you know, a lot of you are the reason why my brand has grown so much. You know, my YouTube channel has been probably the biggest driving source of my publicity from getting me on TV and to magazines and all sorts of, you know, red carpet events and all sorts of stuff, you know. Uh, and you could even go back on my channel just search the salon guy red carpet. I mean, I've been to the Oscars, Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, you know, and the list goes on and on of events and Fashion Week. I mean, I've put the sweat equity into my brand. But current state, it just disappoints me how I'm putting so much time and energy into these videos because I want to keep up. I don't want to lose traction and they're duds. I don't know what's going on. So I would love your opinion. If there's stuff you want to see, you know, let me know if you have any sort of insights, let me know. Uh, and I'd really be really happy to engage with you and, and hear your feedback. And I apologize. This isn't a hair tutorial. I mean, I have over, again, over 2,500 hair tutorials you can watch for free basically, but I like to engage with people sometimes. And I do have a lot of things going on, like my online courses. I'm so excited that I, I announced my online courses and I've had thousands of people who have gone to the site and looked at the courses and you know I'm, I'm hoping for more conversions but i'm really proud that i have an online course which so if you're a professional a hair professional you can go in and watch these courses you can get a certification from me to approve that you can cut hair like me because 
I get phone calls all the time asking and every day messages, a salon guy who cuts hair like you in this state and that state. I'm like, I have no idea. I'm literally trying to give other hair professionals business and referrals and they don't want to invest $150, $200, whatever it is into their career, but to go out and spend $600 on a purse, you know? And it's like, <laughs> so it's just a little baffling to me sometimes, but I do have a lot of things in the works for 2024. You know, as an entrepreneur, I'm always hustling. I'm always grinding, as you know. And if you do know me, I'm not, I never show off the, the 19 Ferraris, which I don't have any, <laughs> right? I live a very somewhat modest life. You know, I, I'm not flashy. I'm never trying to show things off, you know, and I know there's a lot of brands out there that all they do is show off and somehow that makes them more successful. But me, I'm just a normal, humble guy as a professional trying to share my journey with all of you. And I would love some feedback as to what, what you think the issue is uh, with YouTube in particular. You know, Instagram is also really tough as well, but you know, I would say Facebook is eh, it is what it is, but TikTok, why am I getting 23 million, 20 million, 800,000, 6 million views on my videos? I don't get it. So I love your feedback. I love to engage with you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.